Today, we're going to be covering how you can use Simple Imputer with Python and Scikit-learn to fill in null values within your pandas data frames. So first off, why is Simple Imputer really practical for machine learning? Well, most machine learning models do not allow you to have null values, and Simple Imputer is a way to fix that. In fact, if you have a null value, you can use one of the different methods to fix it. For example, you can take a look at the mean, you can look at the median, the most frequent, which you probably know as mode, or throw in a constant if it is a numeric value that is missing. Now, if it is a categorical value that is missing, you can instead throw in a specific constant. So just a practical example, let's say you're taking a look at data for a music venue and you're looking at specifically at ticket sales. Well, if there's one or two nights that are missing for ticket sales, you can use one of those four methods that I mentioned a little bit earlier to compute uh, the missing values instead of just completely deleting that row. Or for example, you're missing an artist, uh, the performer that night, you can throw in a constant value over there such as performer not listed and then have that within your pandas data frame. All right, I'm gonna teach you how to do this right now in Python and let's start coding. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is import pandas as pd. I'm gonna shift and enter, this runs a cell and also builds up a brand new one down below. Next, I'm going to import numpy. So import numpy as np, and we're going to be good to go. So first thing I'm going to do is get some data in here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is miles equals pd data frame, and then inside this data frame, we're going to start building out some stuff. So we're going to say farthest run miles, right? And then we're going to this out over here, like a dictionary, and let's put our miles in here. So we're gonna do like 50, 62, whichever in both those. We're gonna say there's a null value, which is np.nan. Then we have 100 miler, which I'm gonna run one day. Your typical marathon, 26. Then you have a 13, 31 for a 50K. And then let's throw a 50 miler in here again. We're gonna shift and enter, and now miles is defined. Now I just wanna show you real quick. This is the data frame, right? We wrote this out over here, and we have NAN uh, for this over here, 50, 62, and then we have 50 again. So a few different ways that we can also check this. If you're gonna have a lot more data, what I'd recommend is you just do miles dot is an A, and then just sum it, right? I'll tell you how many null values you have and in this instance, right, we have one over here, but if you're using a lot more data, obviously you wanna check this over here uh, before you start running your simple computer. Okay, so let's import our simple computer. So we're gonna say from sklearn.impute, import simple computer like that. The cell is now running, I'm gonna build out a few other cells down below. And the first strategy we're gonna do is mean. So. We'll just go imp mean in this instance equals, and I'm just gonna say simple imputer, just copy and paste that. And then you're gonna define your strategy. So strategy equals mean, just like that. Okay, shift and enter. Now this has been called. So now we wanna fit this into our data frame, right? Which we have miles over there. So it's pretty easy, right? So you're all you're gonna do is imp mean dot fit transform, and then just throw miles in here and check it out. Now we have the average, which is 47.42 for across the board. Okay, so that's how mean works. Now let's take a look at median. So IMP median with equals simple imputer strategy equals median. Now I will say mean is probably the most common that you're gonna see. Median is also not a too bad one. Just depends on where the data lies that is missing in your data set and you'll make that determination. Again, same thing, right? So IMP median dot fit transform. And we'll put miles in here again. And this is what the median looks like this time. So uh, the median for all of this over here was 50. So the median is actually pretty close to the mean. All right, another method that we can use is most frequent, which in math classes is often called a mode. So I'm just gonna do imp mode equals simple imputer. And then inside over here, you're gonna say strategy equals, and then you'll put most frequent. 
And this should be 50 again because you only have 50 here twice. And then imp mode dot fit transform miles. Great. And now we have the mode down below over here. And one other method that we could use is a constant so we can define what we want. So I'll do imp constant equals simple computer strategy equals constant. And then we'll say a fill value. We'll do like a half marathon, which is 13, right? Value equals 13. And then if we run this again, imp constant dot fit transform miles, right? We can see now that 13 has been replaced uh, with that null value. Okay, so now I wanna show you how you can use categorical as well. So very similar to like this constant, right? So what I'm gonna do first is create some brand new data. So I'm gonna say names equals PD dot data frame inside over here. We're gonna start names, which need to be in single quotes over here. And let's build this out. So I'm just gonna throw in some baseball names, including my name. So we'll put Ryan, put Nolan, we'll put Honest, Wagner. We'll say next one is a NP dot NAN. And then we'll say last is Ruth. So it should be babe. Then we shift and enter over here and we do have an issue. And let's take a look what our issue is. Pandas has no data frame. And it's date frame. <laughs> I should put an A there instead of an E. Now this is defined names over here. And just to show you what names looks like, we'll throw in names. And you can see again, we have our null value over here, but we have everything else uh, working properly. All right, so very similar, right? I'm gonna do imp constant. And this time I'm gonna put cat for category equals simple computer. We'll say strategy equals constant. And we'll say fill value equals root, or it should be baby this time. But put babe over here. Great. And you can put whatever you want. I mean, you can put like a missing value, not present, whatever, right? I just put babe. And then we can say over here dot fit transform. And then I think it was names, right? Yeah, names. And this time you see Ryan Nolan, Hannes Wagner, and also Babe Ruth. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you guys, and it was from a little bit earlier, is it would be helpful to know which one of these columns has been simple imputed, right? Um, have another column over here with the one or a zero. So I'll just show you how to do that actually really quick. It's very simple. So I'm gonna do imp mean, and I'll say like marked or something like that. Something pretty easy, right? Marked, not market. And we'll say simple imputer. We'll say strategy equals mean. And then we're gonna say add indicator. Indicator, and we're gonna set this equal to true. And that's gonna build out a brand new column with zeros or ones, one being uh, something that we've added in over here. And you can apply that to anything, right? Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys first how you can do this with numeric numbers and then also with strings in essence over here. Okay, so shift and enter over there. And then I'm just gonna run this over here and do a fit transform. So fit transform. And then the name on that one was what? It was miles. So we'll throw the miles in over here. And now you can see that we have over here, this 47 with a one marked. Again, you can do this with anything that we've showed earlier, um, but that's how you essentially do that. So I wanna show you guys a more advanced version of this now. And I do have a CSV that I'm gonna be implementing. Again, I can give you guys the CSV. It's gonna be under my GitHub, so make sure to download it below and follow for that link. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is df equals pd.read 
CSV, and then I'm going to just say simple computer, computer CSV dot CSV, put that there twice, just make sure. And then when we run a data frame, so you can see I expanded out the name and then also the farthest run. It's a little bit different than earlier. I just typed those out pretty fast, uh, but this is a little bit larger of a data frame with more data to work with. Okay. So this time I'm going to combine what I've been doing above and we're going to implement it for both the name and also for this run. And then we're going to throw this back into pandas. Okay. So what we need to do first is use a make column transformer and I have a full another video on it. So make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it yet, but we're going to put from SK learn dot compose import make column transformer. I really like. Okay. Now that is in here, we can start cutting this out. So I'm just going to say CT right here equals, we're going to copy this. So I don't want to type that out. We're going to build this out over here and we're going to start. Okay. So what we can do is some of the different stuff that we defined a little bit earlier. So first thing I want to do is imp constant category. So I'm just going to put this over here. And then what am I going to use that on? I'm going to use this on the name column. So just put name over here. Up next, we're going to go on this column. We're going to do a mean. So and just copy this, right? Make sure there's a comma here at the end. And then imp, I think it was just mean. And if it's there is an issue, I will fix that. And then I'm just going to copy this for this run. And then we just need to say what happens if it's not used, which there's only two columns here, so nothing will end up happening, but I'll just put over here remainder equals and we'll put drop like that. And just to clean this up a little bit, we have this over here. Okay. And I do have an issue. So let's see what it is. And I cannot spell to save my life and remainder is now over here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is set this output, the pandas. So all you have to do is CT dot set output. And then you're going to put over here, transform equals pandas, just like that. So now we have our simple imputer that's going to show you twice, right? Fill value, babe, strategy constant, and then our simple imputer over here for the mean. Okay. We know this is working properly. And lastly, all we're going to have to do is set our new data frame. So I'm just going to do DF pandas equals CT dot fit transform. And we'll throw in our data frame and DF over here. And I just do a DF pandas, check this out, right? So we put babe over here, which I guess I don't have this in the same order. It should be Christy Matthewson instead, no big deal. And then we have 47.428 over here. So that's how you can do both categorical and also a numeric essentially with a simple imputer at once. So just, again, just a quick walk around and how I did this. I just imported our data over here. First, if you're going to be looking at numbers, you've technically four different methods you use. Mean is pretty much the most common one that you'll see this being used either on different YouTube tutorials or documentation online. Then you have median that you can use most frequent. So mean median mode, which most commonly used. And then you have a constant, which you could also throw in. And then if you're going to be using categorical data, kind of like with this over here, uh, you're going to have to throw in a constant and put your own fill value. You can either put like an NA or it doesn't exist, whatever, or in this case, right, a new, it should have been Babe Ruth. So I just put a fill value of Babe. And if you want to do both at the same time, you can use something called a make column transformer. And we can do both of these and output this back into a data frame. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you didn't, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you should watch this video over here on make column transform.